15 love. Thirty love. Better in this set has not even dropped a point on his serve. No resistance whatsoever from Jennifer. And you see how quickly it changes, just in a heartbeat. Switch off the lights because this party is over. Well, Ginepri has only won three points in this set. And they've all been on his serve. Faith, you know. What you were talking about, Doug, that when he had his chances oh, yeah. early on in the match, he didn't use. He went for the top spin approach off the backhand. So difficult to do. That time, um, slice paid dividends. Very few bright spots for Ginepri in this third set. It's been all fetter. when I see him the whole agree. point set up again by a good first serve out wide on the juice court cannot help thinking back to when he was serving for the match the first point went for the big first serve up the tee and missed it been so successful with that serve the one out wide that was well he changed the winning pattern we talked about it that's why players lose matches they do so well to get the lead, and then once they're in that position to win, rush of blood to the head, they try to do something special, something different. And more times than not, it works against them. Got it. Got it. Just a little flick of the wrist here, around the side of the ball.
final dagger in the heart, one suspects. Federer five, love. 15. And it's Federer who's remained stronger. Just a couple of points away now from advancing. And you have to commend Federer's efforts for finding a way to turn this match around on Ginepri. It wasn't easy. Thirty fifteen. That was good, folks. Left that like a cricket shot, did Federer. Team bold. 40, 15. So after two hours and 12 minutes, he arrives at match point. His third set, just 22 minutes old. Well, he gets out of jail, does Federer. Jennifer played a fantastic match. But unable to get the better of the world number one when it really mattered. And perhaps this will be somewhat of a catalyst for Federer. And turn the summer around for him. 2013 minutes, Federer. 6-7, six, 7-6, seven, seven, six, 6 love. Well, as, as far as I'm concerned with regards to Federer, it wasn't a pretty victory. But it was a gutsy victory. Could have lost it. When you're number one, you're playing against guys that have nothing to lose, and you lose your serve that gives someone a chance to serve for the match. That puts you in a world of trouble. And he responded. And then he got better. And then he got better. He took advantage of his opportunities in that second set tie break. And for Ginepri, just the mere thought that he let it get away just crucified him, and he wasn't able to do anything in that third set. Yeah. That's off to Ginepri for sticking it out right to the end. Not quitting, showing a little bit of respect to the world number one. He threw everything he had at him. I was really enjoyed the fact that Jennifer was prepared to go after the second serve of Federer. Federer. We know historically Federer really does have a good second serve, so Jennifer really stepped out of his comfort zone and took it to the world number one and came oh so close. Perhaps just a little tight when it really mattered and no clarity of thought, perhaps, in that. Uh, service game at 5-4 when serving for the match. 6-5, excuse me, when serving for the match in the second set. But Federer advances, and I'm sure the tournament committee will be delighted. to get the, the win 